What is up, everyone? Welcome to the final review of the assortments from Fandom Fireworks. So I got this uh, assortment when it was $500. It's changed since then, and we're going to do a review on this one. Because I can review the $500 one, and I liked it. I would say it was worth it. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that one, but they changed it. Um, they made it this. Um, so this, <laughs> if it wasn't $600... If this was $400, this would be the best assortment in the world, but it's $600. For $400, I could justify it for maybe, I mean, justified, I would probably say $300, $350, but um, we're actually just not going to let them take those out. We're going to let them leave these in. So we're going to go over the better fountains in here, the Dragon's Tears, the Brouhaha, Firecracker Fountain, Fire Dance, Alpha Wolf, Flying Stars wasn't too bad actually. Vibrant Voltage, another one. M Moon Dance Premier, New York Harbor, like Hokey Monkey. These 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 ones over here. These are all these are pretty good fountains. But for six hundred dollars, Phantom, um, it's this is just not worth it anymore. Um, this is just an utter disappointment. You can see there's a lot of empty spots they got going on here. Um. Here, 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 like this. These could have be. These could have been filled with like a box of uh, wild bats or killer bees or like. It's just utter disappointment that there's spots left unfilled. Um, that's my main complaint about this redone assortment. There's a lot of empty space that's unused here, um, and it's just frustrating. Um, I mean, there is some hidden items. You do have uh, under here, there was like a killer bee under there, which th there should be more of those. There should be more moon dances. There should be a lot more. They shouldn't have to put these styrofoam blocks in there. There should be just nothing but fireworks for $600. This is the most expensive assortment in California. You should expect some novelty, some crackle balls, some smoke balls. Some TNT does that in their assortment there at the Big Bang, but there's just nothing in these crevices. There's nothing in these cracks. This is just disappointing. Um, the effects, this is obviously, and I had to retract a statement where I said this assortment has the best, best effects out of all the assortments. This one actually has the best effects out of all assortments because it has the finales in it. But having the best effects doesn't mean it's good because you can get these off the stand and probably pay less. Um, there's a lot of crappy fountains in here that I would skip that I don't want. Um, so very disappointing that I see so many empty spaces in this assortment for $600. Um, this assortment is getting a 3.5 out of 10. It's just utter ripoff. $600 for this is just, I mean, I've, I've spent that amount of money. I spend more than that. And it's not just because it's, it's the money aspect. It's, it's the just utter ripoff that this assortment is now. Um, it's changed. This is the like fifth reiteration that this assortment has gone through. I don't know if they're just packing it full of crap because nobody's buying it. Because that that may be the case. Because it's just nobody's gonna buy this. It's just a waste. Um, this has turned more into a rant than anything. So um, you actually have the longest burn time in this assortment. You're looking at about 25 to 30 minute burn time here. Um, in this row alone, this is probably gonna last you almost 10 minutes of burn time. Another 10 minutes and then maybe about 5 to 8 minutes up here. Uh, maybe about 8 here and 8 here. So um, This is the longest lasting assortment, but it de better damn well be for $600. So you're spending $600 for 25 to 30 minutes of sparks. Um, very disappointing, very disappointing that that is a thing. Um, so this is an absolute skip. The only pros would be there's some actually some good fountains in here. That's the only pro, which the con is there's a lot of bad fountains in here um, that are watered down. Um, so the only assortment out of this whole review series that I could recommend to you guys is the Phantom Awestruck. Phantom, you read to redo all these. These are all awful. Besides the Awestruck, please do not touch the Awestruck. If anything, make it better. And reduce the price again. So, thank you, Unbox Technology, for doing the unboxing of the Fire Blast and the Backyard Barrage, the new one. And uh, thank you for Phantom. Um, not really. Um, can't say thank you uh, because you increased the price on the Awestruck. But, uh, yeah. So, that is the review series for the Phantom Firework assortments. 
Um, the highest rated winner would be the Phantom Ostruck. Second place goes to the Backyard Barrage, and it's a tie with the Barrage and the Moonstruck. Um, last place is a tie between the Backpack, the Adventure Backpack, and the Phantom Favorites. So um, pretty much avoid everything like the Plague except for the Ostruck, um, Barrage, and Moonstruck. Those, those three are passable. The rest are garbage. Stay away. Thanks for watching the series, guys. Be sure to look out for the TNT series that I'll be reviewing. Um, unfortunately, I have to use a little bit um, more of the consumer unboxing videos, which is a lot of shaky um, reviews. We're not going to have clear tripod shots like we've had for the Phantom ones. <laughs> so I'll see you next time, guys.